The investigate of judgment is a doctrine of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in which Christ is said to have fulfilled the final phase of his atoning ministry in 1844. This means according to Adventists that Jesus' sacrificial atonement on the cross was incomplete prior to this date as described in Christ in his sanctuary when a new door of forgiveness of sins was opened in 1844. The investigative judgment is furthermore based on Adventist interpretation of Daniel 8 verse 14 which says the following, And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. In this video we present three reasons why the investigative judgment is unbiblical and even heretical. The heresy of the investigative judgment is that Jesus did not complete his sacrifice on the cross and only did so 1800 years after his crucifixion. This means that salvation would not have been possible for centuries and millennia of Christians. Nonetheless, here are our three reasons. 1. History one major biblical problem with the investigative judgment is its background and foundation. Back during the early 1800s in the United States in an event known as the Second Great Awakening, a man by the name of William Miller had gotten himself thousands of followers in a movement named after himself, the Millerite Movement. Bruh. More than three decades before the official foundation of the SDA Church, Miller made a prophecy that Jesus would return in October of 1844, based on his reading of Daniel 8 verse 14. His original date was 1843, but when that didn't happen, he moved it finally to 1844. Thousands of people did all their end time preparations, selling their possessions and whatnot, only to experience the great disappointment. Jesus did not return. Did Miller apologize for his false prophecy and repent as the nope. Bible clearly says no one will know the hour of Christ's return? Miller simply changed his story claiming that he misunderstood Daniel 8 verse 14 as the sanctuary referring to the earth instead of rather to heaven. In place of Jesus' return, the significance of 1844 was turned to Jesus entering the Holy of Holies in heaven and completing his atonement. Alan White, the founder of the SDA Church, Miller's friend, took this false teaching and incorporated it into SDA doctrine when it was founded in 1863 up to the present. 2. Context Daniel 8 verse 14 is the foundational verse for the investigative judgment. The problem is, is that the Adventist interpretation removes the verse from its context. This is why Adventists will only read the verse, leaving you puzzled at what it means, while leaving out surrounding verses. The context of Daniel 8 verse 14 ties into a prophecy of a ram and a goat, representing Greece and Medo-Persia. The prophecy is a timeline of events culminating in a figure known as Antiochus Epiphanes IV who persecuted the Jewish people in the late 2nd century BC. Antiochus' tyranny will last six years until the Jewish temple is restored in 165 BC. This is what is meant by the sanctuary and the 2300 days are literal days, not years. 3. The Sanctuary The sanctuary in the Bible is a synonym and reference to the temple. God's dwelling place on earth. In the Old Testament, the sanctuary refers to the physical edifice of the temple in Jerusalem, which was furthermore preceded by the tabernacle prior to the Israelite monarchy. This was God's earthly dwelling place among his people. This means that there is no evidence that the sanctuary reference in Daniel 8 verse 14 is in heaven but is talking about the physical temple, which we already proved in the previous reason. Finally, the significance and reference to the temple in the New Testament is also also not in heaven, but consists of the body of Christians who are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The physical body of the Christian thus turns into God's earthly dwelling place in the New Testament. As concerning the reference to the temple in the book of Hebrews, which Adventists used to support the understanding of the heavenly sanctuary, the author of Hebrews was not talking about a literal sanctuary, but instead using Old Testament metaphors to explain how Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament and perfectly died for our sins on the cross. Furthermore, the fact that Jesus, our high priest, had to cleanse the sanctuary is proof that it is not in heaven, since God's heavenly dwelling place is outside the effects of sin in a fallen world and does not need cleansing. For more information, please check out our more in-depth video, The Investigative Judgment Exposed as Unbiblical.